Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to go over this calculator that can be hacked to play PS5 games. How about them apples? So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So the hardware we're talking about, the calculator really is the GHLBD desk calculator, which you know, this, there, there was a YouTuber called Taki Udon says was purchased secondhand online for about 10 bucks, 10 bucks. And it typically sells for more than that, uh, you know, aftermarket these days. I bet, I bet you can imagine, right? So thanks to its somewhat peculiar, peculiar construction, it can handle both the installation and playing of a wide variety of games with Taki Udon showcasing everything from the Nintendo Entertainment System and Game Boy Advance to the DS and Dreamcast. Granted, the GHLBD doesn't come with these games installed, which means if you want to do this, you'll have to delve into the world of emulators and ROMs, which is something that does carry a bit of risk as the downloads may not always be trustworthy depending on your sources. So why does, you know, how, why, why it works? Uh, so the, basically the short answer is, you know, for how this desktop calculator can run so many different games from original NES to more modern titles like Doom 3 is somewhat unnecessarily powerful internal components. The, you know, the GHLBD comes with a 1.8 gigahertz, 32 bit quad core ARM Cortex A7 processor and a one gigabyte of RAM. Say that three times. <laughs> So along with a full color touchscreen display and a USB-C connection port intended for charging, Android 9 is also pre-installed, which leaves the door open for software modification. There isn't much internal storage, but the GHLBD can work with an external USB drive and there's more than enough out of the box to run some classic NES games. So as we know, it's not only, you know, just going to simply play video games as soon as you turn it on. It will require a bit of setup by first swiping down on the screen and opening the Android settings, then turning on the USB debugging. Once that's done, you can start installing apps like emulators and games, raw, and, you know, IE ROMs through the USB connection. So, you know, in practice, it should work much like loading similar software onto an Android phone, though the hardware is likely simpler uh, than what you're used to. So once everything is loaded up, you can start playing games on your calculator, albeit, you know, with some inexplicable. So that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Uh, do you have more information on, on this calculator? Please let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you on the next video.